Well, that's going on, everybody. It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday? Hope you're doing great. Um, so Tuesday, the Smokies premiere happened. Uh, if you didn't see it, I'll leave a link up there where the links usually go. Um, this is coming up in a few weeks. That trip. I've got a couple of trips coming up. <clears throat> we'll talk about that. And I have a viewer question we're going to answer on today's video. So on this Saturday morning, sit back, get your cup of coffee. I'm going to have mine. And uh, let's get on with it. All right, guys. So we're going to get on to this Saturday video. Uh, a couple of updates, a couple of uh, things I want to show you guys. First, um, we got a trip going to Chattanooga. By the time this airs, it'll be the next weekend. Uh, this weekend, I'm not doing anything. Maybe shooting some other videos, but I uh, shouldn't be doing anything as far as you know, going out of town or going anywhere because we're going to be around here for the most part this weekend. Um, with that said, uh, next weekend we're headed to Chattanooga, the family, it's a family thing as far as me, Heather, and Chloe. Um, probably shoot some video there, a lot of pictures, that kind of thing. So it'll be a kind of a, kind of a video, I mean, it'll be a video. Thanksgiving weekend is when the Shiloh trip's gonna end up happening. Uh, me and Chloe are gonna do an overnighter down to Shiloh. Oop. I then gave it away. Chloe will be going with me to Shiloh. Uh, we're going to go down. I'm probably going to turn that into two videos. The trip video itself. And then a video about Shiloh itself. So look forward to that. Right now as it stands. I have videos shot for every Tuesday. Uh, through the month of November. Which is awesome. I love being ahead. So in this video. Um, so we've got. Uh, Shiloh Thanksgiving weekend then probably the second weekend in December I'm going to take an overnighter maybe a little longer we'll see um, depends on how the weather holds out as long as the weather holds out pretty good I've got a couple things that's going to combat cold so it may extend my camping season just a little bit at least for me I uh, do have something extra or something else coming for Chloe too, for camping, to make her life a little more enjoyable. Um, so I'll be bringing all that stuff to you in the future, uh, in future videos. One of the things I did, I'm going to spin you around, loosen you up a little bit, and point you down to the big cooler. So if you have an igloo such as me, didn't come with a basket well my wife found one we measured the distance between the lip and we found a basket and i mean all we put in it's you know stuff we don't want to get wet usually never very heavy so i think i put what i have five pounds in it and it held up perfectly i'll slide down to this end so you can see it so it held up perfectly so that's great i can you know keep stuff down the bottom of the cooler uh and to give you an idea, she got this Dollar Tree. So that works. That's awesome. Uh, little trips we do always take, I don't know if you can see it from here, the cooler that's always in the truck for those is that one, this little Coleman. That's all I need for overnighter. Even for a couple days for me, it's fine, but this would be great for um, multiple camping trips. I'll leave a um, link up above for this particular cooler I've already got it on the channel love this cooler and that basket in there now really helps out a lot as far as keeping the stuff dry and all that good stuff um, so give me just a minute we're gonna get reset up and we're gonna do the viewer asked question okay so I had a viewer asked question and it was regarding my 
gas one butane fuel or gas one uh, dual fuel stove single burner stove uh, basically their question is it's my understanding that you can only use gas one butane fuel canisters other brands cannot be used they won't fit is this correct thanks for the review this one looks like a good choice especially with propane option so if you've seen me using this in camping videos lately um, I love this gas one it's butane propane combo stove and the question they're having is of course with the, the propane part it doesn't matter I mean you can put any uh, one pound cylinder on this thing and it works just fine their question is is the gas one propane or gas one butane canister brand canister is the only ones that are working here well I don't know I don't know yet but what we're going to try is the Coleman brand come on focus they are is the Coleman brand uh, the, to best of my knowledge I didn't know there was any differences in these I could be wrong and we could be finding out real shortly let's see that does that don't want that yet so we're going to slide this in here and then lock it into place shut the lid lights up so the answer to your question is that is incorrect they do work because right there is a coleman brand butane canister and it locked into place like it's supposed to and lights up so there you go no you can use any butane canister brand i just used the coleman one and it worked with no problem picked that up at walmart because walmart sells the coleman brand butane stove so that is good to know so that's bad on my part for not ever checking that but it worked just fine as you see okay so we'll wrap up the video so we found out that the gas one butane propane stove a person had read that you could only use the gas one fuel canisters well they proved that wrong the coleman ones will work in it um, I might have to pick up a couple of other different brands and we'll try that out in a future video and see if it works. Um, so with that said, what I was going to say, if you have a question you want answered and I think it's video worthy, which I thought this was, I'll do a video of your question and you get stickers. Get some mid-10 outdoor stickers for your wall, your coffee cup whatever you want to stick them on so stay tuned to some more stuff coming uh, we got lots to do we got lots of camping to do because i you know i i can't miss out on camping right now i have no excuses except for the rain i'm sorry guys but i, I just there's a lot of rain that stove is cool to the touch, even though it just it burned for just a couple of seconds. So, anyway, I haven't tried cooking on the, with the butane itself. So, maybe that's something I do pretty soon is try cooking with the butane. Um, anyways, I'm rambling now. So, I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you have a question, and I think it's video worthy. Leave the question down below in a comment or leave a comment. Leave the question in a comment down below. And if I think it's video worthy, I will do it and you will get stickers from Mid 10 Outdoors. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Lots coming. Lots of coming. Also, probably starting in January, I'll bring him back to Friday Night Lives because it's always so cold and weather has turned to crap. So we might as well sit around and talk on Friday nights. Those will be nine o'clock central time. Uh, they usually run about an hour and we'll talk about outdoor stuff, camping. If you have questions on trips and stuff I've done this year, 
and that's what we'll be doing and we'll be talking about future trips and i'm going to plan a youtuber camp out again but i thought we'd do another youtuber meetup camp out sometime in the spring so all right guys be prepared and see you on the next one